Welcome to another Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, before we get to the video, which I know this is the reason why you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Now, back to our Tech Tip Tuesday. Hey, Todd here. We're actually at the National RV Training Academy. I'm shooting on location. This week we're doing solar. And here I've got a question for you. Uh, this is from Doug Hanwall. Hey, Doug. Uh, I'm glad that you actually said that you liked the videos and stuff like that. No, wait, you didn't. But I'll go ahead and answer the question anyway. This is what you said. Our panels on the roof never stop charging if the sun is up, driving or sitting. Okay, well, solar panels, as long as there's sun strike, they can potentially produce some type of power. Okay, doesn't matter whether they're moving or not, so we have that. Now, here's the thing. I want to go ahead and answer this question before I continue on. Volts, electrons, amps, all of that. Electrons are lazy. They're not going to move unless there's a demand. You're saying they're always charging, which means there's always a demand, whether the batteries need to be charged or whether you have a 12-volt appliance that is on. Okay? As long as the sun's out, as long as you got sufficient sun strike, if there's a demand, these solar panels are going to work. Okay? If you installed it properly, there is a disconnect, and if you don't want them charging or anything else, you can flip the disconnect. But quite honestly, I don't think why you'd ever do that. You paid for the solar panels, let them charge your batteries, let them produce voltage over to whatever appliance you have. So let me read this again. He says, our panels on the roof of the RV never stop charging if the sun uh, is up, driving or sitting. Uh, my concern is some of the bad reviews of the refrigerators. I'm assuming what you're saying is you have a 12 volt fridge. Some of the bad reviews, right? 12 volt fridge needs exactly 12 volts. And if you don't have solar panels or something like that, the only thing running the refrigerator while you're going down the road is your battery, okay? The problem with the battery is there's limited power in there, right? Once the battery is dead, it's dead. It seems to be part of the problem. If you have solar panels and they're constantly providing power, they're doing two things. They're either charging the batteries or they're providing power to, say, your 12-volt appliances, such as your 12-volt refrigerator. Quite honestly, if you have a 12-volt-style refrigerator, it is best to have some solar panels up top because if you're moving during the day, you're adding power. Regardless if you're moving or you're sitting still, you're really not pulling from your batteries. The concern you have is maybe at nighttime because, of course, the solar panels don't produce power at night. You're just on your batteries. The reason for the bad reviews, there's a lot of problems that we have when the battery dies. And it's a learning curve. A lot of people need to figure out that their battery only lasts for so long and they need to do the math. How long can they go before the refrigerator pulls all the power out of that battery? Well, when it starts pulling all the power out of that battery, well, now we get uh, the uh, compressor messing up. So here's the thing. We want to make sure we have sufficient supply for our demand. Adding solar panels is a wonderful way to add supply and adding extra batteries is also a wonderful way of getting extra power. There's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just wanna learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, roll the bloopers. Hey, Todd here. We're actually at the National RV Training Academy. I'm shooting on location. This week we're doing solar. And here I've got a question for you. Look at my new phone, it's so small. Oh wait, they're all the same size. Oh darn, I locked myself out of not my phone. And if you don't know where to get a battery, I can tell you. Are we gonna have to do all that again? No. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Man. All right. 